Hi, everyone. I'm so excited to be part of this virtual book club. I'm really loving this book. Um, been hard to put down. Um, so I want to talk a little bit about chapters one and two. Um, I think for me, what was so important about chapter one um, was that they really, I think, created space for me as an educator to slow down and reflect about my identity, reflect about images that come to my mind and responses that come to my mind and, and really being honest with yourself. And I do think sometimes when it comes to doing this work around identity um, and diversity and windows, mirrors and doors, really finding that place to have those courageous conversations and sometimes those difficult um, reflections with oneself. And I just love how they invite you to be honest and to know that this is your space. Um, so working so much with classroom teachers and literacy specialists and literacy leaders to create classroom libraries and book rooms that I really want to use this book as a resource. It adds an additional layer um, of work for folks to do as they begin to think about books they want to use with kids because we want to make sure we're really curating a collection um, that is, is going to be engaging uh, for our readers and really reflect them. So I really appreciated that. Um, I also loved at the end of this chapter thinking about um, they leave you with sort of another time to sort of take some next steps and think about how you begin to think about characters. Um, they provide so many book lists that I think kids, uh, teachers, sorry, are going to love um, these suggested resources. And what, again, I appreciate about them is these lists of books have both um, new, but also right, old favorites and trusted titles so that teachers will be able to find these titles in their school library, or they may already have them in their collection. So it's just another way um, to invite teachers to try some new books, but also to look for the opportunities in the books we already know and love. Um, and I thought that was really powerful. Chapter two, I just love the title, um, Making Unlikely Friends, and just, I want that basket in every classroom library. I want every teacher to start the year with an empty basket that's labeled Making Unlikely Friends or Unlikely Friends. And for kids to really think about what does that mean and finding characters that are unlikely friends um, and to begin to think about what is friendship and what does it mean to be unlikely or likely? I just love this idea. I love all of the ideas um, in this chapter. I also think in terms of the text structure of the entire book, they do a great job of always looking at it from another grade level's point of view. Um, so they may start with one grade level um, and then they'll sort of take you into another classroom um, at a different grade level and say like, so how might this look in a first grade classroom versus a fifth grade classroom? Um, and I think that's really going to help teachers find their point of view in some of the things that they're talking about in the books. Um, again, they leave you with reflections and next steps and suggested resources at the end. Um, so I think this is such a great uh, practical book that teachers are going to come back to again and again. It's one I know I'm going to have with me um, in my bag all year as I'm working to help schools curate classroom libraries and book rooms.